Weather forecasts are essential for anyone involved in outdoor activities. However, official forecasts can sometimes be unreliable and hard to come by. But using the clouds to forecast the weather can be much more accurate for short-term and local conditions. I'm Oliver Perkins, author of The Message of the Clouds, and I'm here to teach you how to forecast the weather yourself using the clouds. First, I'll talk to you about where we get most of our bad weather from, depressions. Depressions are areas of low pressure which bring rain, wind and cloud. However, they never come without warning. There's always a series of clouds that come before them, indicating us of their approach. The first clouds warning you of an approaching depression are cirrus clouds. These high wispy clouds indicate that the warm front of a depression is 12 to 24 hours away. The next clouds you'll usually see are cirrus stratus clouds. These are layers of ice crystals which often cover the whole sky. They mean that the warm front of a depression is about 10 to 15 hours away. The sun and wind can always be seen through them, and a halo often forms around the sun. These cirro stratus clouds lower and thicken into alto stratus clouds, which are relatively featureless layers of water droplets. They cover the whole sky and mean that rain is about four hours away. These alto stratus clouds then thicken and lower into the rain-bearing nimbo stratus clouds. These bring increasing amounts of rain and generally last about four hours. Now this cloud is my favourite cloud, not because it's particularly attractive, but because it's an extremely accurate weather forecaster. Panis clouds are grey fragmented or wispy clouds which form below raining clouds. They are formed by the moistening of air by rain from above and they mean that it will be raining in the next 10 minutes. So if you see these clouds, then remember to wear the waterproofs and pack up the picnic. These fair weather cumulus clouds, which are less tall than they are wide, are grey clouds to see. As if they're seen after mid-morning, then there'll be fair weather for the rest of the day. This is because they won't develop into the rain-bearing cumulonimbus clouds. However, their bigger brother, the towering cumulonimbus cloud, is not a cloud to mess with. They bring heavy showers, strong winds and often thunder. They usually have anvil shaped tops and as they're so tall the top part is turned to ice, giving this kind of fibrous or soft look. You will also see the pans clouds that we talked about earlier under them and this confirms that rain is coming. So watch out if one of these is upwind of you. Finally, look out for this cloud. Although these altocumulus clouds look pretty harmless, these white cloudlets which clump together in patches or layers indicate that the air is unstable and this means that showers or thunderstorms are likely later. And in the hours after I saw this particular one, over 250,000 lightning strikes were recorded and higher cirrocumulus clouds along with the outer cumulus clouds mean storms later too and they can also form in bands before fronts approach. You should now be well equipped to deal with most of the skies you've seen. However, if you see any clouds that aren't included in this video, or if you'd like to know more, check out my book, The Message of the Clouds. It teaches you not only how to forecast the weather using the clouds, but why that weather's coming. Thanks for watching.